What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today we're going to be opening up another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box for you guys. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys are really enjoying these openings. Of course, some people don't like this uh, this kind of box, but uh, yeah, these I just think are really fun to open up. They're pretty entertaining to watch too, and also I was able to get this one from Walmart this time. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me you can get them from Walmart. They're actually five bucks cheaper than at Toys R Us. They're like 25 instead, so that does make them a little bit better value, but again, this is like a repackaged thing, not made by Konami, so it's really tough to get your money back out of these. So I'm just going to tell people that, of course, uh, right at the beginning. But they're pretty fun to open up. Like I said, they're, they make for a pretty entertaining video, too, because it seems like you guys enjoy watching them. Anyway, of course, you get three booster packs, uh, uh, five bonus packs, a structure deck. I've heard some people even getting, of course, uh, uh, special editions and stuff, too. I got a starter deck even from one of them, so it can be other things. And you also get a mystery item and a bonus item, usually like a playmat, and you're getting like battle packs, and uh, you can get other cool things, too. So let's open up, see what we get. Obviously, too, you're not going to get a bunch of these older packs. I want to say that. They're, they're kind of misleading on that. It's not false advertising, but it's very misleading to people. Because I know a lot of people get angry about that because they're like, you're going to get a lot of older packs. If that was the case, ah, man, you wouldn't even be able to find these, probably. They'd be flying off the shelves then. Of course, they're selling them pretty well anyway. But if I could buy a box to get all those older packs, as you guys know, I would definitely get a bunch of these then. All right, what do we have here? First off, oh, okay, we actually, oh cool, we got blue eyes. Oh, that's awesome. We actually got a blue eyes white dragon. Is that the, that's the Portuguese version of it, I believe. So there we go. <laughs> Original art and everything, first edition. That's pretty cool. I don't know if the Portuguese one is worth very much or what, but it's still freaking blue eyes. So that's awesome. It's one of the ones on the back, too. If you guys didn't notice, they are actually in Portuguese, both of the blue eyes and dark magician. So I, I wonder if you can get an English one or something or other languages. For our packs, they're kind of stuck here. There we go. Judgment of the Light. That's one of the packs seem like we always get. Uh, same with uh, Primal Origins. And what was the other one? Legacy of the Valiant is the, the one we normally get, too. Will we get that? Yeah. Legacy of the Valiant. Those seem to be the three that you normally get. Of course, then we have our battle packs. Uh, you always get like a sleeve of these, basically. And one of the little play mats. Yeah, we got the Forbidden play mats. Here, I'll unfold it real quick. There we go. So yeah, it's a cool playmat, I guess. I mean, it's one of the smaller ones, so <laughs> nothing too crazy, but I guess getting a playmat is always pretty cool. So I'll just kind of put it right there. And what else do we have here? Is this a, yeah, we got a starter deck. So <laughs> I was wondering about that. I thought I could see that it was red. I was thinking, well, that's probably a starter deck. I guess that's better than getting the newer starter deck, to be honest, though. The one, the other uh, one for Arc 5, just because uh, this one has like those extra packs and, you know, it's cool to get like Dark Hole and everything as an ultra rare. Is there anything else? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, uh, battle packs first, I guess. I think that's what we normally go with first. Oh, man, they're glued. There. Magicians Unite. That's kind of interesting. Getting one of those. Uh, Rush Recklessly. And uh, Chiron the Mage. Not too bad. Can't really expect too much from Battle Pack 3, unfortunately. It has some pretty good reprints, but it's not like Battle Pack 2 or 1. I kind of wish they included those instead. Or if you had a chance for them. Seven completed. Uh, we have Quackamere Sandman. And also a Display Router. Doesn't matter how old these Battle Packs get, either. That glue still holds on to them. Chaos Burst. Always like that orc of that one. Uh, Blizzard Dragon. Not bad. And Tardy Orc. Night Beam. That's probably one of the better cards from the set. One of the better reprints. So at least we got something on that one. And uh, rig Rigorous Reaver. Man, that's tough to say, but or at least for me. So that's interesting. I remember that was another one that I remember uh, playing or using on uh, one of the video games. Uh, Lion Alligator. Call the Mummy. That's an alright card, too. And yeah, last one for Battle Packs. I don't think I've ever gotten any of the XDs from this set. See, we have Mask of Brutality, uh, called the Atlanteans. That looks cool. I forgot that was actually in here. That's kind of neat. Uh, Mudora, 
And yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, Battle Pack 3, sometimes you can get some really cool cards, but most of the time I, I don't think really anything from that set's expensive or, or anything like that, so nothing too crazy. Um, I guess we'll go with the packs next. I think that's the order we normally go with. Legacy of the Valiant. Maybe we'll get a hollow from one of these. I hope so. I've had good luck and bad luck with these kind of packs. And uh, we have uh, Nikatama. That's actually pretty good. That's a good rare. The spirit monsters are always uh, really powerful. And we have uh, Habuja and uh, Arasuda. We actually got an ultra rare. That's awesome. There we go. I was hoping that's pretty much uh, your best bet on getting something uh, really good from one of these sets. It seems like is uh, from the, the three ex the like main set packs that you get from these. So that's really awesome. At least I got a hollow from one of those, and you're not guaranteed one either. Uh, Primal Origin. Let's see. Let's get a. Uh, Get our Galaxy Eyes Prime Dragon. Number 43. It's kind of cool. Have uh, Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion. For a second, I thought that was hollow. For some reason, they look like Ultimate Rare to me, like on the edge. It's not. No Penguin. Th there you go. That's what the card should have been. Like, no hollow, no Penguin. And, uh, oh yeah, Judgment of the Light. I'll show you guys what that it is. Right. What can we end Can we end with the hollow? I'll say that too. We have Confronting the Sea. That's an alright rare. And, uh, well, there we go. We actually did get a hollow. It is uh, Talela, uh, Princess of Cherry Blossom. So, yeah, that's been a while since seeing this card. Pretty interesting super rare. At least, you know, like I said, we ended with a hollow. So, this might actually be one of my better <laughs> power boxes I've gotten because I actually got two hollows from the three packs. So, like I said, that's pretty much your best bet of getting something really good from one of these. And also, of course, the uh, Superstar deck. We've opened these up several times. I'll open it up again, because why not? Just in case one of you has not seen what's in these. I mean, you're getting the same stuff out of all these. I guess the different packs, though, that are in it. You have... You can get a few random cards, I guess. I should say. This is the one that started Pendulum Summoning, which is kind of funny nowadays. So we have the playmat. I'll unfold it. And there we go. That's what the playmat looks like. Again, it's kind of funny because the Link Summoning... Um, yeah. <laughs> Pendulums didn't, didn't make it out so well have the beginner's guide. Hope you learn the rules. The deck of cards itself, and then the two uh, power packs. Is that what they're called? Yeah, power-up pack. I knew it was something like that. I guess we'll go with the power-up packs first. So first off, we have Odd Eyes Dragon. I don't think it's kind of cool to get this card. I don't know. He just looks kind of I don't know. <laughs> Interesting, I guess, right? Uh, Mirror Force, the A-Forces, uh, Swords of Healing Light, and Sacred Crane. So you're getting at least some usable cards from those. And this one, I believe, has Dark Hole, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you get an Ultra Dark Hole, which that's probably one of the better things you can get, too. Uh, Call the Haunted, Amazon Sage, uh, Kraz the Light Monarch, and Injection Fairy Lily. So, again, not bad. Like I said, at least it has that power-up pack thing to these, because it makes it a little bit better. Now, of course, to open up uh, the rest of the cards that are in the starter deck. Let me get the plastic off this real quick. All right, there we go. Got through the plastic. First off, we have Time Gazer Magician and Stargazer Magician. I still like these two cards. They just look cool. And then, of course, you have a lot of different reprints, too, like Whitetail Dragon, Luster Dragon, Hunter Dragon, even. I mean, you have some pre-usable things, but, again, it's a starter deck. So this is mainly just good for beginners. Um, I don't recommend this for people that already know the rules and everything because, first off, it's an older structure or starter deck, I should say now. So there's nothing really too great for you, and uh, it's not going to be that powerful for that reason, too. It's a starter deck. So, Supply Squad, I mean, that's one of the better cards, too. Mystical Space Typhoon. There are some good cards in here, but really, if you already know how to play the game and everything, you should just go for, like, three of a certain structure deck. You can pretty much build a deck of cards right there. So, it, it's the better option for you. Simtools of Bandit, even. I still like how we still see prints of that card a lot lately. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. At least I got two hollows from my packs. Again, that's probably the best I've done out of one of these. And in the past, I've, I have had a better luck getting, like, older uh, structure decks and stuff, too, instead of getting the starter deck. I think this is the second time, though, where I've gotten that starter deck. But, uh, yeah, just uh, tell me what you guys think about this opening, of course, uh, if you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, a lot of you seem to really enjoy these openings. That's why I'm continuing with them. But yeah, what I, I don't think people realize is that if you're only buying these to get cyber stuff, uh, you're just better off getting a lotto ticket. I mean, it seems like those are the same odds for that. So, really, uh, these are just to get for fun. Like I said, they're better for, like, entertaining videos. Not really if you're trying to build up your collection or if you don't have much money to work with on Yu-Gi-Oh! You're better off getting the singles or just getting 
megatons or something else really so yeah that's just I'm gonna say that real quick so people know but they are pretty fun to open up to so it, it just depends on your situation on that but for me like I said uh, you guys seem to enjoy them so I'm gonna continue to get a few more of them so as always uh, thank you guys for watching be sure to hit that like button it helps out a ton subscribe for more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and other Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos and of course I will catch you guys later see ya